truly a Swiss 001 classic, trying to land a big airliner on an aircraft carrier. Uh, we've done that 5,000 times already. How original. All right, shut up, aircraft carrier woman. I can handle all this. No problem. Power. Shh, you're all good. Yes! There we go, we're stopping just fine. I hope. Actually, this, uh, this worked relatively well. Hmm. I mean, you know, normally the conclusion of one of those videos is, of course, that aircraft carrier decks are quite too small to land like big airliners on it. This surprisingly worked. And this has been a problem that I've had for years. Damn, why can't we use an aircraft carrier as a international airport or something? But everybody, our solution has risen up. And our solution is this right here. Yes, large aircraft carrier scenery part two. The flight sim.to user of Tear2255 placed some aircraft carrier somewhere in... I don't know where that is. Looks like a beautiful island with some bridge to it. Anyway, we've got two aircraft carriers indeed. One that's twice the size of, I guess, a Nimitz class aircraft carrier, the big one. And one that is five times the size of the Nimitz class. This is gonna be like a really big airport now. I mean, the idea of building an incredibly large aircraft carrier, larger than the ones we know of, isn't even that bad. I mean, you know, the biggest aircraft carriers are quite, quite small compared to, you know, the biggest ships in general. Here's the JR Viking compared to a Minimus class aircraft carrier. As, not, as you can see, the deck is a whole lot longer. And we've got a nice Ocean Giants comparison of the world's largest ship. This is the USS Enterprise aircraft carrier with the usual length of 341 meters being topped by like over 100 meters by the biggest ship in the world. You know, the longest at 458 meters. Yes, you could build. You could build longer. You could make a bigger deck. I mean, when we're talking about this kind of runway size, it would be shorter than the shortest runway of the world. So let's go ahead and discover, and we'll find our new uh, interesting concept near the island of St. Martin, which is nice. Let's get on to the double the size Nimitz aircraft carrier and see how that performs. This thing twice as long would make it the longest ship ever, but I mean, it's theoretically possible. We could do that. All right, and so here we are. We can already see our 737 on this huge aircraft carrier. 600 meters long now, and um, several airliners on it. We've got an A320, we've got another A320, we've got another A320, and some medieval type scenery surrounding the aircraft carrier. What the hell? I mean, we've been to St. Martin, but there was definitely not a bridge there that went into the water and not like some Machu Picchu type thing. And Hogwarts! Isn't that, is that not Hogwarts? It's a kind of mountaintop thing and what the hell? The ancient Greek were also quite active here. I really don't know what these uh, castles and bears and this is a fever dream of a scenery, goddammit. I, I, what? I really don't know why is there a gothic church in the Caribbean? Anyway, uh. let's get back to our two times this <clears throat> Aircraft carrier. I mean, while it looks quite normal still, you know, it doesn't look crazy. This would be ginormous, like, to be scarily ginormous. I mean, we all know how big a 7378 is compared to a person. Imagine a ship this big. Oh, oh, oh. Mathematically, just be like, what is it, 600 meters long? Kind of measuring the runway size of St. Barthelemy, which is still a short runway. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to take off without any existence of like a catapult system or anything. There we go. Brace release. Come on, let's get going. We're going full power. Full, full power. Perfect. We've got some takeoff. Shut up. Airplane. This should be doable. Oh, look, we've even got some people, uh, you know, just to compare the size. All right, there we go. Let's go and take off, which is still somewhat barely possible. The problem here is definitely that the aircraft carrier isn't moving. We don't have that advantage anymore. This is very static of an aircraft carrier, which means we need to, you know, accomplish a few more knots than a usual. But this is great. Now, talking about fever dream-wise, there are... Uh, uh, you know, I'm not even going to ask any questions. This is actually the normalest thing in the scenery. Anyway, let's maybe land on the static aircraft carrier. Once again, 600 meter long runway. You know what? I mean, now that we know that we've been able to take off, we're probably be gonna be able to land quite realistically. All right, come on, let's do it. All right, we're a bit fast. We're on 200 knots, but that's just fine. There we go, we're good. All right, perfect. All right, stall it out, come on. You know, perfect. 
That was quite hard. Let's go ahead and stop, which should be perfectly possible. There we go. We're looking good on this incredibly huge aircraft carrier. We've been able to land. This plane fits nicely on here. I'm a bit scared, though, of going bigger. I mean, this is a 787, a plane that surely won't be able to take off from here. Luckily, we've got the really big one. It is, oh my God, of the horizon. Jeez. All right, come on, let's do it. Full power. I mean, 600 meters truly wouldn't be enough for the 78. Come on, full power. Looking good? You're going to be okay. You're going to be just right. Yeah. Yes. Check. Oh, that was a tail strike. All right, everybody. Now that we've done that, we've actually been able to take off just fine out of our aircraft carrier. There we go. Still works. It serves the purpose of an aircraft carrier for the 787 even. Yeah, 600 meters is plenty. <clears throat> I guess trying to land on it won't be that hard. Come on. Oh, that was hard. All right, and we've crashed into some people. No, we haven't. That's a shame. All right, that was actually quite good. Well, perhaps we don't even need our big carrier up the horizon. We're, we, we need the seven, five, uh, come on. I finally want to start using that big one. Come on, let's go full power once again. Up the small aircraft carrier. Just going full power and going fast. Like that looks ridiculous here on this deck. All right, full power once again. Come on, we, you can do it actually. This is fine. We've got no winds at all that are helping the airplane out in actually being able to take off. And oh, that shows that was quite barely a stall. That almost works, but we can finally use, yes, our big one. Oh, 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 super the fucking Acropolis. I mean, imagine you're just chilling here in Georgetown and there's this big... God, this is like, what is it, five times 360 meters? That's a, above a kilometer of ship. All right, everybody. So we now actually have the big planes also stacked here. We've got a seven full, seven ramp. And um, this will probably work, right? Come on, let's go full power here. We've even got some 747 spawn in there. Come on, let's go full power. This will be no issue at all. We can probably revert our takeoff, mid takeoff, and then restart our takeoff, mid takeoff as well. I don't know what I'm saying, but there we go. We are easily easily able to do this yeah 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 100 knots no worries at all we can probably do like an aero super classic kind of move where we take off right now there we go we can already put the landing gear up that is so cool of a move yes this is just enough for uh 747 here very, very, very nice. Everybody, we've been able to take off a 747 from an aircraft carrier. How great. Of course, a landing won't be a problem. I mean, this is quite simple. The, the developers well was very proud of having ILS systems. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You, you know, this is probably the widest runway in the world now. I mean, look how wide that is. I have no issues here. Let's go ahead and land the 747. So beautifully as always. All right, come on. We can, we can just do this. That's quite boring now, actually. We can't even overrun this thing can we well there we go looking good we can do the hardest landing in the world and we don't and it won't matter because we're able to stop anyway right come oh wait. you know what we might want to touch down now all right come on stop now no i would like reverse thrust there we go quite funny this is uh probably working yes now how much sense would it make to build an airport like this you know in the times we have tokyo haneda where we run out of space in cities for airports this wouldn't make it wouldn't make too much sense it would just make sense to build an airport on an artificial island like we're doing now but to make a swimming airport on a ship probably mm, i don't see the benefits i think that would be so expensive to build it yeah it doesn't matter what are we doing i mean this is exactly what we have the flight simulator for you know to answer questions that no one actually ever asked look how small the clipper looks in comparison god damn it this is a ginormous ship look we've got a single person here this is a single person this is prop this is properly sized this aircraft carrier i like it a lot all right let me see if we can operate an f-35a off of aircraft carrier i mean come on this shouldn't be too hard let's go full power on the f-35a it's not an airplane you would probably see on a normal aircraft carrier if we're being honest there we go, we're able to do this. I don't know which model this is, but look how tiny this airplane is compared to the aircraft carrier. I mean, even the 747 looks tiny on here. There we go, we've actually been able to take off just fine. We've got plenty of runway to go. This is an international airport size runway, and I like this. Honestly, it's a bit smaller probably, but this is great. So what, there you have it. Um, 
I don't know what you should do with this information that you've been taught in this video. So, but I thank you guys so much for watching today's video and enjoy the rest of your Christmas. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Fan Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knots Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.